Hey there, Optional Dev here. This time I wanted to recreate the hook from t -Worlds. Here you can see how it works in the game. And here you can see the end result I was able to come up with. So let's go over how I achieved this. I started with creating the art assets in Photoshop. A tile sheet for the level, the tip of the hook and a single link that will later be tiled in the game to form the chain. First, I set up the project settings, renaming the collision layers to ground, player and hook. Next, I set up basic input. I then created a tile set out of my tile sheet. That's just a sprite with a static body 2D with a collision shape 2D, times 2 for both tiles. Check the collision layers, go to scene, convert to tile set. Then I created a main scene with a node 2D as root, added a tile map, et voila, a level. Next up, the player. Super standard stuff again. Kinematic body 2D, sprite, collision shape 2D. In the script I handle movement and allow for an air jump. I also decided to add some friction. Then I added a camera 2D to the player, set it to current and added a small script that allows the camera to softly follow the mouse to allow for a look ahead, like the dynamic camera in T-Worlds. Now onto the actual chain. A node 2D with a sprite for the chain links, uh, the tip is a kinematic body 2D with its own sprite and a collision shape 2D. The important thing is to go into the import settings of the link.png, set repeat to enabled and click re-import. Now if the region of the sprite is bigger than the texture, the texture will get tiled. The graphics get positioned via offsets. Remember the collision layers. The script provides two functions, shoot and release. On each frame the chain gets updated depending on its state. We only need to keep track of where the tip of the hook is, since the beginning will always be at the local origin, as the hook is attached to the player. For the graphics of the chain, just rotate the links and scale the region underscore rect dot size. The physics were a bit tricky, so I checked the source code of T-Worlds itself. There I found out that the strength of the chain is actually adjusted a bunch depending on context. For example, it pulls up more than down, and depending on whether the player is steering with or against the pull of the chain, it also pulls stronger or weaker on the x-axis. Taking some inspiration from that, I implemented a similar mechanic. And there we have it, T-World's inspired hook. As always, the project is on GitLab with a lot more comments explaining the code in detail. The values for all the forces like gravity and the chain pull were just some random guesswork and I'm not actually happy with all the code, but I hope I could give you a starting point on how to approach this mechanic. Until next time, happy coding!